I'm the executive director of Chow Mom Media and Outreach, and my talk was on mom confidence and how moms feel like they have to wear masks because of the way in which they're seen sometimes in the world. And here's the mask that I think a lot of moms wear. The mask says enough because a lot of moms feel like they have to show their world they're enough, when in reality, on the inside, the inside of their mask says not enough. And so many moms feel like they're not enough in this world. And I would argue it's because of the way the world treats them. Here's my quick little story to tell you how I came about wanting to help moms with their masks, with their confidence, and with recognizing their value to the creator of the world. I was a TV reporter for many years, and that was my religion, and that's where I got my value and my self-worth and my importance. I thought that's what made me important. I was on television. Then I became, quote unquote, just a mom, and I realized that the world didn't think I was nearly as important as a mom as they did when I was on TV. So when I was on TV, I was telling people about murders and car wrecks and horrible things, and people would run up to me in the grocery store and say, hey, can I have your autograph? And when I became just a mom, nobody wanted my autograph anymore. And God showed me how we had that flipped, that we should be honoring the women, and some men in many cases, who are raising our next generation. These are the people he's depending on to raise his children well. And instead of honoring them, we're honoring all the people on screens who are not necessarily contributing a lot to our world. People like superstars and celebrities and professional athletes that sometimes are not good examples at all. So I think it grieves God's heart that we honor things on screens, but not the precious mothers who are raising his kids. And here's a good example of how I feel like if we saw it from God's perspective, we would get it. When I was in television, I won one Emmy Award, just one. And I think God taught me a lesson because it has a broken wing now, and that's to keep me humble. I want you to think about these two things. When somebody walks the red carpet with their Emmy Award, like this, I think the world says that's important. That's the most important activity that you could, one of the most important activities you could do. But when somebody does this, This is a precious mom whose feet I'm getting to wash. It's a privilege and an honor to do so. I want you to think about these two activities. I was walking the carpet with my Emmy Award, and the whole world would say that was the most important activity when it comes to comparing it to this activity. So if you had to compare the two, the world would say, having an Emmy Award, walking the red carpet, that's important. Caring for somebody else, washing their feet, not so important. It doesn't make you important, doesn't make you special. I have two questions for you. Which one did Jesus tell us to do? My second question is, which one is a mother more likely to do? So if you think about it, every day, moms are doing sacrificial acts that, do, that are exactly what Jesus asked them to do. So my Emmy pales in comparison to what a mother does every single day. And that's what God wants. He wants us to serve and love and raise his babies to be his next generation. So, in my talk, I gave three confidence busters, things that bust the confidence of a mom, and one of them is the world that makes her feel less than and does not let her feel valued. And I gave moms three confidence busters and three confidence boosters. If you would like to know the three confidence busters and how to stay away from them and how to reject them and know the three confidence boosters and how to accept them and incorporate them into your life, I would love it if you would email me. Here's my email, channelmom at gmail channel mom at gmail. Don't have time to go through all of them right now. If somebody's in the conference this morning that can help you with that, I'd be happy to have them share. But I've got really good ones that I think will bless your motherhood and I hope be a blessing to you. So please reach out to me at channel mom at gmail and God bless you all. I'm so glad for this conference and for Pinecrest Community Church.